So here I'm going to try to reduce the size of the device by maybe designing a new enclosure. So let's go ahead and take it apart. Just know that this will void any warranty you may have on the device. So you want to make sure you read your manual and uh, warranty agreements. Just four screws and the case will pop right off. And here is the computer and the enclosure. Pretty simple device as you can see. The computer itself is a little too small for a case this big. They have a module sticker now. I think this is the Wi-Fi module sticking out a little bit as you can see here. Otherwise, this could have been a nice small rectangle, about 68 millimeters by 105 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and design a brand new case for it and have a, a much more compact device. So here is the first draft and as you can see it looks a lot smaller and more compact than the original case. I just have to do a little bit of uh, refinement. I think I can shrink it a little bit but uh, so far it's looking a lot smaller as you can see especially when compared to this chunky thing. All right, so let's see what it looks like with this new case on. Obviously, this is not the final version of the case. This is going to connect to the back. All right. It's uh, not bad.
Alright, so here is the new look. As you can see, I have scan gauge printed right here. And it looks a lot smaller than the original case, as you can see. final version of the enclosure is 3d printed this is the back cover and here is the case it's not bad at all now let's go ahead and put this in the frame Now as you can see we have a compact ultra gauge 3 with the same functions. The cable still connects to the back as you can see. Just like this. And yeah this is a much more smaller device when compared to this chunky enclosure. I definitely reduced the size with this new enclosure. So I'm going to make the 3D files available in the description if you want to download them. And let me know if you would have done something differently, maybe the shape of it, maybe the back connector. Is it better to solder the wires directly and not have the wire coming out of the back straight like this so you can mount it on a flat surface? Or do you think this is a, a safer upgrade? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.